Uh, Fatuani joins us now via Zoom in the United Kingdom this morning while Justice is in studio to share more on this in initiative. Gentlemen, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Cool. Hi. All right, uh, I do understand that uh, Fatuani is not uh, uh, available, but uh, we have you here in studio. Good morning. Okay, how's, yeah. it, how's it going? I'm good, thanks. Good so to have you back on yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah. great stuff, good man. Good to be back for something different. Yeah, sure. So, yeah. why did you decide to work on this Testic Rice project? I mean, we're from the township. Um, it's beautiful where we come from, yeah. but sometimes the realities of our uh, background circumstances challenges what we wish for. Mm. So we couldn't further education, uh, get into tertiary or get into schools that help with skills that we are interested in. Mm. So because our country has challenges, as do the world, you know, it's up to us as a people to come together and do what we can with what we have mm. uh, to contribute to the change we wish to see. Yes. So this is why we, we did this. This is why we are doing this. Okay. So what's yeah. your role then in this project? I mean, what really inspired uh, the work that you curated? Uh, I mean, the inspiration from the work we curated was firstly a celebration of women. Because mm -hmm. as a brand that came um, to work with us, um, their core message was about celebrating women this mm -hmm. year. Right? And what was important for us was to create work that is in honor of women in different ways without entirely being literal you know so um women played a big role in our lives we, we grew up in a household with a single parent our mother mm. and she had to father us and so does this uh is a reality of many homes where i come from so mm. Celebrating women is important to us. Okay. And that's why the theme of the work was in celebration of women. Okay. And you also worked uh, with uh, Stu Manaka on this project. So yeah, how yeah. did he contribute? So what was his role? Yeah, so I mean Stu Manaka is a childhood friend and my brother and him are a collective called My Loves. Mm -hmm. um, and when Testa came to see if we can work with them, it felt natural that as a collective we can work together in contributing to this change. So right. his contribution to the project was also as an artist. So he created work in celebration of the theme right. of right. celebrating women for a bigger cause to help children go to school because that's what women do, right? Okay. Yeah. And how did the three of you get it right? I mean, have they, are there other projects prior to this one that you've worked on? Yeah, I mean, we, the project we've been working on as an ongoing project is My Loves, which the primary focus on that is dismantling the idea of masculinity and intimacy. Mm. And because we are three men, it's important that we redefine how we even see each other, engage each other, mm. you know. And the world is going through, I would say, a gender and sexual revolution where a lot of people are identifying themselves beyond what they're expected to identify them themselves. So as heterosexual men, it's important that we contribute to that conversation mm. in a meaningful way and dismantle our traits that we inherited through communities that bring us up, okay. that may be toxic. So sure. that's why my love is important as a definition of who we are and what we stand for. Yeah, but then in its entirety, how does this project seek to uh, spark tho those discussions and those conversations around uh, some of the issues of toxic masculinity yeah. and, intim and intimacy? So uh, how would people talk about these things through this project? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how would people talk about it through this project, but I think seeing a collective of men um, in our time mm. uh, showing love uh, towards each other, being vulnerable, being um, showing uh, showing up positively and and in a meaningful way um, is I think good enough as a starter for a conversation about redefining uh, our toxic masculinity mm -hmm. and how we put ourselves out to the world. You know, because mm -hmm. as men we are taught to be hard. You know, we are taught to not cry. We are taught yeah. to not embrace each other and that's not human you know humanity is love humanity is vulnerability mm. uh, humanity embraces so that i think as a primary 
entry point to that conversation is enough for now. But as we progress with the project, we will figure out sure. more ways to engage that conversation. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you, you've raised about 800,000 rand, right? Yes. Was I that think your target? A million. Um, yeah, I like think... What our, did you initially plan to raise? Um, you know, things like this, it's hard. You know, we had a wish list. We wanted to raise a million. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, we got to 800k. And I think we're going to hit the million mark if we haven't hit it yet. Okay. Um, and, yeah, I think the intention there was that the brand has done collaborations with other parties uh, where they raised money. And I think as a progression of the campaign, it's important to raise the bar. Mm -hmm. and aim for a bit more. So, so how do people why. take part in this project in terms of uh, raising more funds to reach your target? Yeah, I think, um, firstly, the catalogue of the work that's available is available on the TESTIC website. Okay. And also the social media, you'll be able to see what else is still available. Okay. Um, yeah, I think taking part is in form of investing mm -hmm. or buying. Um, within reason or within your own reach right. to contribute to the bigger cause. Okay. Yeah. Justice, lovely chatting to you, man. Thank you cool. so much for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, this year, Testic and uh, the Mukele twins, in collaboration with uh, Stumanaka, who form part of the Art My Loves uh, uh, movement, raised money to send deserving students to college. We just spoke to uh, one of the twins, uh, Justice Mukele, and uh, we are hoping to be joined by his brother, Fatuani, in the United Kingdom. But thank you. We, we do appreciate their time.